you know, you can... The water is at about normal level right now in the winter. Are we on the bio or the lake? Oh, you, the whole thing is the lake. The whole thing is Caddo Lake. It's just a big cypress it's bayou. Beautiful. That's just the main river. But every bit of this is the lake. We're just in the backwaters. When you get over to Louisiana, it's more open water with a few cypress trees kind of sticking up. The average depth of the lake is five feet. Over here on the Texas side, there are some... said, yeah, Cato Lake. I said, no, ma'am, it's Cato Lake and get in the truck. <laughs> so June, three years ago, we bought our place up here and uh, we've been permanent residents here for you know a little over three years. But I do the search and rescue here, number one, because I know the lake so well. And I get along with the game wardens and the sheriff's department. This aquatic weed you see is giant salvinia. There's a fish here? Fish? Yeah. Oh, 73 species of fish live oh, in this lake. My. This is but this giant salvinia that you see is uh, invasive. Uh -huh. It comes from South America. Now, how it got here, I do not know. I mean, it could have been on a bird's leg. Pro oh, probably probably in aquariums. <laughs> well, aquariums, you're right. You're right. But this is it. I mean, this is, yeah. you know, it's not much. So all a bird has to do is just get a little bit on its foot mm -hmm. and transfer it to somebody else's pond or whatever. And, uh, you know, then it spreads very quickly because you know how invasive species are. They just spread. The other invasive species we have is that little white flower. And if you look at the leaf, it looks like a heart. It is called crested heart. It's also an invasive species that they're trying to spray and get rid of. Now I have seen this whole lake from here all the way to Louisiana, north, south, and west, completely covered just like this little bay right here. Completely covered. Water used to be higher than it is right now. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Great Raft. No. It was basically a log jam on the Red River above Treeport. And so it backed all the water up, going up the Red River and up the Big Cypress Bayou, which the water was 10 foot higher than it is right now. The guy that founded Shreveport, Captain Shreve, he wanted to basically tear the log jam up, which is kind of a dam. and. Uh, so you could have unobstructed boat traffic to
plants in the Philippines like, like that hanging hanging plants the Spanish moss yeah we used to have like that uh, it just, it's it, a plant it's like an air plant yeah. I mean, it doesn't really cling to the trees it just lays over it I think it absorbs most of the humidity for you know water uh -huh. uh, when it does rain it does get a little bit of water but I'm not sure exactly how it lives but the best thing to do with Spanish moss is look at it because They're, have you ever heard of chiggers or red bugs yeah, yeah I do yeah they oh my gosh I don't mind um, they will eat you alive and the only way I know to get rid of them is uh, clear fingernail polish Nobody lives there, and they really can't. We do go over there sometimes. Like a... Uh...